Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this clip art. It's, it's pretty clean. It's, it's fuzzy, but it's very traceable. And he says he traces it and it comes out and he, he just wants some help on editing it and then adding a color like I did. And he was ecstatic about it. Anyway, we're going to, this thing's a little bit big, but it's only four inches. So we're just going to go to trace bitmap, outline trace clip art. Takes just a second. I'm going to say OK, and then I'm going to nudge it over one time. Now, as always, take a yellow box, fill it in with yellow, go to arrange, order, back of page, and you can see the white background. Well, if we click on the flower, all the black is connected. So we go to arrange, group, and ungroup, and we grab the black. We can nudge the black out of the way and look at all the white that's a little left. So we're good. Now, his he's gotten this far, but he does not like this little bitty pieces of the, the flower petal that are like that. So if we go left click, right click, and what that did, that took away the field and got rid of the outline or made an outline. I'm just going to move this up and then use the handles to kind of make it maybe look a little bit more natural. Move it up, just move your handles, make it a little bit more rounder, kind of conforming to the outside of the, of the item. You know, you can do whatever you want from here. A couple more, you just move the handles and let's just go ahead and clean it up a little bit more. So you just make it a little bit more rounder, kind of giving it an equal shape. I'm going to call that good. Now there's one little spot in here that's not really necessary. So I'm just going to grab it. I'm going to hit delete. Now, some of these are kind of, you could leave that and it looks pretty good. But what I did in mine, I just hit on that note and just hit delete, making it a rounder part of the pedal. And there's only a few that have multiple nodes a node is a between two lines is a node um, i think the rest of them look good now we can right click and put the fill back and nudge it out of the way i'm going to take away the outline now the the coloring is kind of where i have fun i only change my direction uh, once in this. So I'm going to take my smart fill tool, set on yellow, and just I'm just going to fill these in. I'm just going around and hitting the left mouse button, filling in the yellow. So then what I'm going to do is take my interactive fill tool. I'm going to get this, the last one, well, I'm going to, that's the last one I've touched. So the interactive fill tool is going to go to there. And I'm actually going to, you know what? I'm going to go downhill when I do this. So my added one will be orange. And if you're kind of happy with that, maybe a little bit less. Now we're going to get the attribute eyedropper. And then we're just going to take a sample. And you can't do this all the way around. because Well, you could, but it's going to kind of change the, the pattern because it's going to be the opposite. So we're going to take this one right here, interactive fill tool, and I'm going to go up this time and add that burn orange. Maybe a little bit too much. Get the attribute eyedropper again. Sample it. There's a little eyedropper. And see, this way, every petal is a little bit different. And that's really all this to it. Anyway, I hope that helped him a little bit, and thank you for watching.